Hi everyone, this is Slashot. Today is Thursday, and a new banner has arrived. The Empire's Honor Destiny Summon. So I need to. I've been planning to summon in a number of banners, starting in this one. I have skipped this one, although Wilder is really good, but I don't have any time to shard him up, unfortunately. And I also do not want more Young Jessica shards, I already have them. Uh, young Jessica does block a new, uh, even younger Jessica. Like there will be three Jessica in this game, that's just crazy. So this this Jessica actually blocks, I think, the attack on the platform. Anyway, so I already have her, I don't tend to summon more copy of Young Jessica. It is too dangerous for me to pull on uh, Wyler. And he won't be that useful if I shard him up a little bit more as well. So I will stick to my current healers. Um, having said that, I will pull on this banner because I have Amelia and Betty already. And I need Eris. Bozzle blocks Eris bomb. Maya blocks his HP bomb. I do have Bozzle, so I can unlock his attack bomb. Uh, he will be my ban bait in the Apex spot. I'll just put him in there and people will ban him. And I will take a long time to shard him up to 6 stars anyways. Uh, and I do have plan to shard up a lot of other units. Um, so unfortunately this means Eric's Ares will not come into play anytime soon. He really needs 6 star maximized attack to deal a lot of damage. It's not a debuff AOE unit, right? It's like Arian Rod. Arian Rod. You need maximized attack to just KO your opponents, right? So I am going to be sharding up... Uh, well, I'm finishing up Landius, Juggler, and Zerida to 6 star this month. They will all finish at 6 star this month. And I will summon old Landius on October 23rd, two weeks from now. Uh, well, 22nd, I guess. Uh, two weeks from now. Um, and I might need a lot because it's not the Destiny, Destiny banner either. And there's another unit along with Old Landius. I just want Old Landius. Right? Uh, the other unit is... Um, let's see here, just real quick. Uh, Helena. Yeah, so old Landius and Magus of the Tree and Helena. Magus of the Tree is old Landius. Uh, and I will be... I may or may not pull on Yulia. Like I have a guaranteed Yulia for the Landius Yulia Juggler banner on October 15th. I won't be pulling more than just one copy because my Landius and Juggler are reaching 5 stars anyways. Right, I'm sharding them up. Um, and that's actually interesting. So if I stop sharding them, I could pull one juggler and just become six star immediately. But they're so close now. It's just three weeks. In three weeks, right? The juggler will be done. 47 divided by three, or two weeks, 16 days, just over two weeks. So I can kind of wait. I don't need to pull more than one copy. And I need to save some extra extra ones for future banners. I need to pull on Gerald and Leia or Mystery Knight or Illusia. Just I don't have any of them. Uh, Gerald and Leia blocks my Tierris HP bond. Mystery Knight, I believe, blocks my old Lendius bond. I think that's the case. Let me just double check real quick. Uh, yes, M MK blocks Odious, Old Landius HP bomb. Lestelle blocks uh, Odious, Old Landius attack bomb, and I already have Lestelle. So I want to pull Gerald and Leia with Mystery Knight. Uh, Illusia could be good later if you want to do the 4 tank strategy in Season 6, but it's a pain to build up another tank. Uh, and then I might pull out Lular just for more PvE content. Uh, I do have Leiden and Racial. And then there's Florentia, uh, non-Destiny banner. She is a good healer, but there are already too many good healers, so I don't think I'll be pulling her. And then I need to put pull Die Hard. 
because he blocks my Tyrus and Sophia. I'm using those two in my box right now. So I actually need to unlock their attack bar, uh, int bar. Um, then I might put on Lance Lord. And the only reason I put on Lance Lord, well, actually, Lance Lord could be really good in Season 6 with the attack uh, command aura, uh, with Empire getting stronger too. And uh, I think Lance Lord is a faction buffer too, if I remember correctly. A strategy. Lanford blocks Weiler's attack bar. So if I ever pull Weiler in the future, I need Lanford as well. Uh, I have Shafanyu in that banner, I don't have the rush. So I pull Lander with the rush and probably stop. And then I, you know, the collaboration banner for Overlord comes and I do want those units. Uh, after that, there's Licorice and Akaya. I might pull one Akaya and I might get some extra shards for Licorice, which help, help her get to 6 star as well. Then there's Sigma, Claret, and Brenda. Uh, Sigma is a significant uh, bond blocker, so I might pull Sigma just to, just to you know, fix that. Uh, I don't have Brenda either, so I might end up getting Brenda. Uh, then, on January 14th, Rose and Seal and Clotair, both are OP units that are that I that I probably I will, I will try to pull and and obtain. Rose and Seal would completely change meta in season six. Uh, AOE debuff counter, right? And the one after is Rosalia and Elwin. I I skipped Rosalia earlier because uh, I, I I really need, like as you can see I have to pull a lot of banners and that's a problem. So I need to conserve my crystals and summoning tickets. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till January 21st to pull Rosalia. If I pull extra Elwin, um, I think you can exchange, right? Oh no, you can, wait, hold on. Yeah, you can exchange. Yeah, if I pull one, one more Elwin, I can exchange into 50 shards of the other one. Uh, and then help push Rose and Seal to higher star ranks. That, that could work, actually. That could work. So. Having said all that, let's get ready to pull on this banner. And uh, we have a guaranteed shot at Ares. We just need to make sure we get it, we get him in as few summons as possible. So I'm gonna start documenting this summon, of course, on the side. To start, we will do this friendship voucher trick, two friendship voucher summon. Uh, two multi summon the friendship vulture, and then do another. All right, so back to this. Give me Ares now. All right, let's wait and see. No, we don't have it. Wait! Oh my god! <laughs> what the? We got it on the first multi summon! Holy crap! Oh my god! Lucky! Lucky! Wow! Wow! I think that's the first time I got something in the first summit. Wow! Okay, so let's see if we have anything else. Okay. Wow.
So that significantly uh, that has significantly changed my calculation on how much I have. Um, if you count right now my vouchers, right? Um, I have saved up 356 summits. Uh, that's a lot, but it may not be enough for old Wendy's. You never know, right? People have been very, very unlucky on other banners uh, in the past. Um, let me think about this real quick. Do I want to pull wire? If I wait for next banner, Wilder goes away. So when's the next time Wilder comes back? May 2020. Oh my god. That's more than half a year from now. But realistically speaking, uh, shit, I might not even have a guaranteed wire. Because if I, I do have a reinforce, I put four reinforce in the last banner. I mean, the uh, mythical banner. And I got no, I got no uh, uh, Gizaroth. And I didn't get extra Zerida Shark. That was, uh, I mean, I put four Rainforce in 137, so I guess that's lucky, but right? if I'm not using Rainforce, and Rainforce is attack bomb because, attack bomb block, because I don't have Sigma HP bomb block, because I don't have Gizaroth, not as good, right? Even at five star. Um, so I could be really unlucky and just get like lots of young Jessica and no Wilder. That would be a significant problem. But if that actually happened, then I would have a six star young Jessica. If I have a six star young Jessica, should I just put young Jessica in my box? Huh, that completely changed my box. So. Yeah. Let's see. Here's Ares. Right, his bond. Basil, I do have. Maya. 5, 10. So let's get give him to a uh, level 10. So we can actually get some crystals. 15 crystals here. Need level 30 here. I mean, I could, we could just upgrade every to level 69 or something. Let's do that. Ah, the faction buff is here. Um, usually he gets this skill and uh, this skill. And then... Wait, does he have another skill? I am confused. Where's the other skill? What? I'm confused. Oh, that's the 3C skill. Yeah, it's the 3C skill. That's 3C. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Furious Hurricane. So... He's a very strong single target unit, and as well as a, a very strong AOE unit. He's rigged, and he has extremely far reach, 5 plus 4, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, okay, let's upgrade him. Um... Eh, whatever. So, he's at level 69 now, with no gears, no bond upgrades. Um, I might use some Wheel of Fate just to clear his Fate of Fate, and uh, later and unlock his bond, I guess. And right now, at least I can get some extra crystal from his unlocking. Um, this one here requires Emperor, but... But... Emperor, I think, is the middle path. So, that's not good. We need him in flyer mode. Well, we don't have the ruins right now for him anyway, so we need to save for old Landis. So he's not going to be doing anything other than being a band bait in my Apex box. And I hope I find time to actually play Apex soon. So what we're doing is basically adding a resource, my Harris. There. So now, this is my kind of Work in progress, Apex box. Um, Ares is now added in as a band bait. Uh, I think I took out Elwin because he's not doing a whole lot for me. He didn't do a whole lot for me even last season, to be honest. When I got to go three, it just it just didn't feel like he made any impact. Yeah, so we do have Ares already in there as a band bait. Hmm. So Eventually, when we have Licorice, Aaron Rod, Old Landius, and we're gonna have no spot for Luna. So I have to take out Luna, unfortunately. Right, like, we'll, we'll take out Leon as well and put in Licorice. Uh, if we do get young Jessica to 6 star, Maybe, just maybe, I can put Young Jessica in here. She can work as an AoE unit. And she can be a healer too. Hmm. That's actually an interesting proposition. That's a really interesting proposition. I have to think about this a little bit. What happens if I didn't pull enough Wilder and then ended up pulling a lot of Young Jessica? Do I want to use Young Jessica in my box? That's the question. If I, if I, my answer is yes. She has problem with faction buffer. I don't have glory faction buffer right now. I took out. I only have led in as a single faction buffer. Right, like she has pretty crappy gear right now. But I, you know, most, we can fix that, of course. Um,
she can move quite a bit actually with breeze and her talent actually even without breeze it's two move two move plus five range seven if you have breeze triggered then two plus two Two plus two plus five is nine. She's a pretty good siege machine, to be honest. Uh, Licorice is strictly better. Licorice is just better. It's just a matter of my licorice being three stars. <sighs> and licorice, when licorice use transform, she can act again as well. This doesn't allow you to act again when you, you first use it. Only allow you to act again when you remove it. So it's gonna feel weird having Yang just play in boss. I mean, she 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 can still be good in season six, I guess. She doesn't have a three C yet. Yeah, this is a this is a tough decision. Because if I don't want to use her in my Apex box, then I don't want to pull on Wilder Ben. If she is 6 star, then she's actually very strong if I put her in. Then how do I buff her? Then? Right, if I look at her factions, my box may not have the right synergy. She needs Origin of Light faction buff. Which means I have the bring faction buff on Juggler, then he will not have the single target skill Beast Rock probably. I think I will still keep the AoE. And the only faction buffer right now I have in the box is Leaden. So if I get Leaden and Juggler banned, then Young Jessica is dead. She doesn't have the slot to bring strength for herself, otherwise she's like missing critical skills. So that means I have I need somebody else like Sophia to buff, me, which could work, or Liana, Rachel, Liana, Rachel. Or I just make her full healer with strength, and that's retarded. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make sense. In order to make Young Jessica a full healer, like in, in case I get all the other healers then, she needs to be able to ruin here, and I'm not willing to spend one ruin on her right now. Definitely not. Like even Tyrius need actually one ruin if you want to run her with. Uh, if you're missing units with attack buff, you need to run this attack support, right? You actually need to run this and I didn't do this either so right now I just have a bunch of gospel user plus Sophia Liana but Le like the thing is you you don't want to use gospel on young Jessica you need to gospel the tank uh, to, to to negate movement debuff and and, and negate um, healing negation or healing reversal debuff like you really Oh man, I really don't want to get more Young Jessica right now. I don't feel like it. She fits in my box right now. Maybe in the future season, when I when we have more glory, when SP Elvin comes. How many do I want to pull? Maybe I set a budget. I just pull one, and that's it. Just 
because I really need to pull old Landius. That's the that's a strong like plan that I that I had. Ah yeah, ah yeah yeah. A big dilemma. Let me think about this. Hold on, be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I have thought this through a little bit more. In season six, it's possible that we run four tanks and four healers. I probably will continue running Sophia because she will be six star. That uh, she's thirty shards away. Well, twenty one shards away from six star, and I did. 2x win her. Uh, since we're not a big whale or anything, that Sophia is going to do just fine if I get I hearts to unblock her bomb. I will keep using Liana, upgrade to her to 6 stars. We will pull Rose and Seal and add her to the box for sure. That means we have one more spot for a healer. And uh, we might just keep running Furious to be honest. Because in season six, we might have SP Elvin, and you still, he could still benefit from attack blessing. The only thing is, we may run Iris too. If we, I will get a free Iris in the uh, Sakura rerun. Uh, we basically will get a five star Iris, and this Iris will arrive uh, at the end of February, next February. So if we want to put Air Iris in, and her 3C is also amazing, give her uh, AOE debuff pinsing actually. That's the only thing she was lacking before. So she has damage reduction and damage up with the teleport skill, and that's rig. So if we have Liana, Iris, and the Rosen seal, we might run Sophia as the fourth. Then there's this this means there's no Wilder. There's still no Wilder. Unless I kick Sophia out. So I run Liana, uh, Iris. I, these are very like strong mobility. Like we can play aggressively or defensively with Liana and Iris because of teleport and act again, right? And they both have AOE cleansing ability. After Iris gets the free C, um, and Rosen Seal is a must-have, right? We include her. Then the fourth one's the Flex Unit. Sophia or Tyrius or Weiler, like so. Weiler, like, it's not a must-have anymore at that point in time. I mean, Weiler is really, really good. But but because I've invested in Sophia, I've also invested in Tyrius. Like, yeah, I might run Tyrius too with Iris then. So I have two uh, single target buff if I run um, some single target units like Leon and. Uh, uh, with a new cover unit, he can do. Uh, he can move very, very far. Uh, or, uh, or, or Elwin, SP Elwin, single target as well. So they all benefit from single target buff, right? And if if I so Liana Iris might be what I actually want to run. Yeah, I think Iris is just that good with the teleport repositioning play. Uh, so Liana, Iris, Rosen Seal, the flex unit is either Sophia or Tyrus. Depending on what I want to do, I guess. No spot for Wilder, sadly. Like in season 5, I mean in season 4 last season, most people have three healers in main healers and inner box, and that's uh, Liana, Iris, and Wilder. But uh, most most of the final the well, the playoff players mostly play the uh, AOE though. So Tyrus is good in single target meta. Huh. You know, Wilder three C is just so good. Though. Like, like it gives fifteen percent damage buff and fifteen percent damage reduction too. It's just insane. Like. Oh god, cannot make up my mind. Honestly, I don't think we can fit wider into our sharding schedule. So for the for, for and, and, and he is attack block uh he's bomb blocked by Lenford until like December. 
if I do pull Lanford, there's a chance I pull Virage too. Then, yeah. So in this case, Wilder is strictly worse than any of my other healers right now, even if I pull him. And I won't get to shard him until 2021, like February or March. Maybe. Yeah, so it's not he's not gonna pay off for me uh, if if I spend crystal on him, and we'll get a free iris too. In which case, that free iris at five star would be better than three three or four star wilder. I think Wilder is really good against like for example if their claret cannot kill you in one hit they attack you and then claret triggers her talent her ability and try to attack you again your Wilder 3c is just gonna heal your unit back. so claret is useless unless they can one shot your tank Right? And if you have Landius, there's no way that she can bring down the second line. If you have wider 3C. Oh man, Wilder is good, but I just can't afford him right now. Wilder can also bring Strengthen for like a faction buff, so all your healers have some kind of a attack buff. Sophia solves that problem to some degree because she is a mini faction buff. Liana has gospel. Iris doesn't have strengthen, I believe. So Liana, Rosen, Seal, Sophia. No, Liana, Iris, Rosen, Seal. Plus, either Sophia and Thierry is that no Wilder forever. Oh well, I guess we're not pulling Wilder. Ah, oh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be patient because because I need to make sure I can pull old old Dandy. As I think she's a counter rush, she slows down enemy. Uh, Flyer and Calvary. And she could bring affection buff for Rin, but uh, it's not a must have. If I have a few gospel users on the field, they can all buff each other. Right now, you can see I've Deedlit, I've uh, Liana, I've Ray Shro. They can buff units. And I have Sophia as another unit that can buff others. Leaden doesn't feel right <laughs> right now. This Leaden doesn't feel right. I mean, it's an extra tank, but. What does he actually do for me? He doesn't buff anyone right now in this box. It, he's just out of place. He buffed Liana, but that's it, right? It doesn't feel right to have uh, that in here. So what I might end up doing is take out Lead in and put in Odious. Because I think Luna will do more than my Lead in. And then when my Erin Rod gets 6 star, 5 or 6 star, I can put Erin Rod in and take Luna out. But honestly, by then it's like season 6 and the meta might completely change, so I don't know. I, I think ODS is better than Legend if I still if I keep Luna in. My Luna's still a very good support unit. Probably do more than my Legend. And Luna is long leg as well. I will replace Leon with Licorice though. 
and but I, but that's conditional on my licorice reaching four or five stars. Uh, she's fine at four star, just deeper. But the terrain only lasts one turn. At six star, the terrain lasts two turns. My deed lit is only four star right now as well. Uh, actually, no, she's she's three star right now. Shit. She is three stars. Oh my god, she is three stars. Oh god. Uh, I still want Didlit there though, in place of uh, Chloe, I, I feel. Uh, she will attract more bands as well. Okay, so this box, like a lot of people hate dealing with Didlit and Aries and Zerida and Rin, so lots of band bait here. And in the worst case, if I get deep lit, I can play her as pure support. Um, I could even put in accelerated A, one more mobility, and then remove Elven Aura. Just run like heal, damage buff, cleansing, gospel. Uh, Elven Aura is not bad though, like if you consider the 30% HP thing. But she won't really kill a lot of target though. Especially when we're facing Landius, my DJ is not going to do much at all. But she could do very well in trading. So if the enemy units come in and suicide on us, Let's say an assassin, I can have Deedlet finish that unit. I can also park Deedlet very far back to remove any debuff with her skill. And she will cause headache for the enemy for reposition because if, if they are if their aggro range is too big, then I could move again with Deep Red, which can be dangerous for them. So Yeah, uh getting there. This box is getting there, but uh still very far away from being very strong, unfortunately. Huh. Sherry is not going to do anything for me. Well, the backup box actually doesn't matter because uh, we are not in a playoff, anyways. There's a placeholder there. Yeah, there's definitely no place for Young Jessica in this box. Especially if I'm taking out Leden. Leden right now does nothing and buff nobody. Just buffing Liana, which is not required. I feel Sophia is gonna do uh, very well for me because my faction buff synergy is a bit off. Right, my Rin has no faction buff here. Unless I bring faction buff on old Landius later on when I you know, summon him. Um, Giz usually, Giz is like Gizaroth with buff Reen. Right? If I look at Reen, protagonist, I don't, obviously, I don't run Matthew. Uh, if you run Yusuke, Yusuke could buff Reen. I don't have Yusuke, sadly. If you run Gizarov, Gizarov also buff Reen, and Gizarov can feed uh, Yusuke too, so that box would be really, really strong. Right? Basically, like, take out Racial or Nostel and add in Yusuke. Um, and then you set up Old Landius, put in Gizarov. Okay, uh, this was longer than I expected. My summoning part is actually really short. Uh, 
uh, good luck or good luck everyone else on your summoning thank you for watching slash shoutouts